Hi there, my name is Whitney and I am here to demonstrate for you another try a trade. So today we are going to be working on our culinary skills by creating a sushi roll from scratch. So before you start, make sure you wash your hands and sanitize your work surface. So the next step is going to be to prepare the rice. You can follow the instructions that we've provided. I've already prepared my rice and I have added to it about one tablespoon of sushi seasoning per one cup of cooked rice. When your rice has cooled, it's going to have a bit of a sticky consistency to it as well as be a bit chewy still and that's going to make the, the rice perfect to roll for our sushi. So the next step to start preparing our sushi is going to be to take a piece of nori or sushi paper and we are going to just cut it in half so that our sushi pieces aren't too big or too thick. So now we're going to start constructing our sushi rolls. So we are gonna take a piece of our nori or sushi paper and place it flat on our rolling mat, close to the end of the rolling mat. As close as you feel like you can get it is easier. Um, and then we are going to wet our hands before we touch the rice because that's gonna help with the stickiness. So you get your hands kind of totally wet and then you are going to grab a bit of rice and just a small amount at a time. You don't have to start with too much. You're going to press the rice onto the sushi paper. You're going to leave about a centimeters of space on the end over here because this is going to act as um, our glue almost, if you will. So every time you go in to grab more rice, you're going to wet your hands again. Otherwise, you're gonna find yourself in a pretty sticky situation with your rice. And you're just gonna go from one end of the sushi paper to the other, firmly, carefully pressing your rice down. And you can press on it pretty hard so that the nori is completely covered with rice all the way to the ends on the, on the um, thinner side here. And you can leave a little bit on this side and it's definitely important to leave a bit of space on the end farthest from you. And you can just use your water throughout to clean your hands. All right, once you've got your rice on your nori, you can start adding in your ingredients. And it really doesn't matter what ingredients you can use. You can use whatever you think might be tasty. I'm gonna add cucumber, avocado, and smoked salmon. But you might want to use whatever you like. Maybe you want to admit the smoked salmon or the mayo. Maybe you wanna add carrots to your cucumber and avocado, maybe sesame seeds. There are a lot of different things that you can add for ingredients. So uh, it doesn't really matter what order you add things to your sushi. You just don't want to layer it in too thick because you're going to have to roll it again afterwards. So a slightly thin layer of all of the ingredients, but you wanna make sure each ingredient goes all the way to the end of your sushi rice so that every roll you make has plenty of ingredients on the inside. So you'll just go like that and you can use your sushi water or your rice water to clean your hands. And you'll add in all of your ingredients all the way to the ends. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to roll up our sushi now. So what I like to do is this is kind of the important part where we have this bit of nori left on the far end. You're gonna take your finger and dip it in the water. Without putting too much water, you're going to add some water with your finger to the end of the sushi. And this piece right here is going to act as the glue for your roll. You're then going to take your um, 
rolling paper and you are going to lift it up a little bit and you're going to grab your ingredients and support them. You're gonna bring your rolling paper over and just before you hit that sushi paper glue, you're gonna give your ingredients a little bit of a hug with your rolling paper or your rolling mat. And just like that. And then you're going to pull, use the, um, the mat to roll it over once again, giving it another gentle but firm little hug so that none of the ingredients come out from the middle, but it's put together really well. And that is your sushi. So you can take your sushi and put it on a cutting board to get it ready to cut up. So next you're going to go ahead and plate up your sushi and you can take a knife, preferably a, a somewhat sharp knife, and just cut all the pieces of sushi gently so that you don't lose all of the ingredients inside. About a centimeter in, in width here um, so that you can get about eight to 10 rolls of sushi in each roll. And again, you're just gonna do it gently. When you've finished slicing your sushi, you can arrange it on a plate so it looks super tasty and pretty. Proud of yourself, it's kinda hard to roll sushi. There you go. We've arranged our sushi really nice and now it's just about the fun stuff. So you can add a bowl for your soy sauce and on the side you can add a bit of the pickled ginger and you can add a dollop of wasabi. Don't need too much wasabi. Be careful with that stuff because it's spicy. And there you go. Just like that, you've finished your beautiful plate of sushi rolls and you can dig in and have a bite. Good job.